Okay. okay. Frickin' ate my chair. Welcome. Come on, slow coach. It's this way. Slow. Slow coach. You know, that raises an interesting question. What is a slowpoke ref 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 referencing? Slowpoke. What what's your poke? Why 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 does pokey mean slow? I mean, a lot of these little stupid sayings have a realm of reality added to them. I mean, I can't think of any right now. Like, um, I, I guess skin a cat. Skin a cat is a reference to when they were trying to make violins and crap like that. But, um, and stuff like that. But what the frick is a slowpoke? I... I can honestly slow coach makes more sense because a coach is the guy that's driving the carriage. Strange. Hi. Okay. How can I find you? Oh yeah, I'll go quickly. I will go as fast as I can. No problems. It doesn't matter, the kids are up here. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, hello, what's this? What the frick is this? What the frick is this? It looks like a 86 volt. No, no, it's a thousand volt battery. 10 amp thousand volt battery. That's a big frickin' Who makes batteries this frickin' size? This is heavy enough to wax someone over the head with. So I will. No, you, you stay with me, buddy, until I get a chair. Although, at the moment, you are more unique than a chair. You have power. Shakety, shakety. Do you swing? Nope. That is not a chain. That is a beam. It is a beam that has been very specifically cut and shaped into a chain look. It's a welded chain. That chain is welded into that position so that, that so that this bully can not do What the frick? Who designed a That does even by the laws of physics of this freaking game, that doesn't even make any sense. Who makes a ball? I mean, you, you could. This is technically something I could run my head into. You would think you'd want it to swing when I hit it. No. Well, there's your problem. The hook is a phantasm.
I really hope I remember the name of this episode of that. The hook is a phantasm. Oh, I got another battery. That's just as good as this one, though. I have a feeling I'm going to have to come back. Oh, please let me pick up a shovel. You freaking jack. I was going to call it a jack. It's, it's, yeah, it is. It's, it's a jerk. game's a jerk. Show me shovels and then let me pick them up. Hey, kids! You're making too much noise! How am I supposed to find you if you're so noisy? Uh-huh! Out of the old. I got a journal thing. I journal. Fever dream tree. Oh, I got... Are all these things on red? I am behind on my reading. I apologize. That voice on the telephone. He speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I remember... T I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth, I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If I can only find the entrances. Uh-huh. What's this one? A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable that they strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well, it seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Ah. Uh -huh. We're trapped. Was it a trick? That voice on the phone, who seems so close to my own, who seems to know me so well. Does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Enoch. Edwin and Enoch. Those poor freaking kids. The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to one of these electrical swi switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Oh, it's a fuse! It's not a battery, it's a fuse that I've been carrying with me. There you go. That was hard! We'll get the other one. There we go. Because I can carry this. I get the feeling there's gonna be less chairs in the in the general vicinity for a while. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. So we're going this way for a second. What was over here? Okay, there's a door with another battery or another 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 fuse and a thing. Hold on, you sit here. Can you go through the bars? Nope. That's a wall. Those are not bars at all. That's a that's a fancy painting of glass on glass. There's nothing next. It makes no sound when you hit it either. Wait. Okay, hold on. I got lots of ba uh, lots of these fuses. I can bash this one through the wall, no problem. I don't even care. Physics be dang. It just, just doesn't matter right now. Get in that wall! 
Come on, Gabe, you eat chairs, you don't eat a fuse. Eat the fuse. Let's go further out, get a better swing. Ha! Okay, this is too much fun. I don't know why this is fun to me. I just like the clanking sound it makes. It's just kind of funny. Okay. Okay, you wait. Oh, I think that puts down a ladder. Right? Yeah, there's a ladder there now. And nothing else can be moved. Because they dropped the ball and being able to drop a ball. I can move these. Can I even move the... I can move the wrench. Okay, I just can't pick it up. Because that would make too much freaking sense! Oh, this one. Is that a pull? The frick! Wait! Who? Who? Oh, oh, oh. Can I get through? Okay. A little more. It is currently on the other side of the wall. Can you see it there? Look at it. Maybe I can lift that thing before I'm supposed to be able to lift that thing. No. No. I still got it. No. Can't do it. Well, I know when we get to that spot because there's a battery there. Fuse. Fuse. It's, it's, I'm never. I'm going to. I am going to call that a battery of fuse every single I'm going to take the broken one. It's going to be every single freaking time, and I'm not. It's only because I'm not going to freaking remember any of them. Can't take that. I can still take the fuse, the broken fuse. At least this would this one would hurt more if I stab someone with it because it's got like shards of stuff in it, right? So I think this one's a better plan. Shake it, Just keep moving. You Can I, can I see now? All right. Uh oh. Instructions. This can go south. Can I burn this? No. Can I pick that up? No. Can this move? Yes. Yes, it can. Finally. Bottles. That don't break. It's all right. That is a lot of things. Okay. Okay. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Get out of here. 
Pull the lever! Why did I do that? I wonder. Can, can this actually move these? Because we already know these things are physics based. Okay. If this was... I got it a bit. They did fix this from the previous game of Amnesia. In the previous Amnesia, if I had a rock of movement in my hand, then I would do this. Oh, wait, wait! I stand corrected. Up you go! Up you go! There we go! Very good game! I am glad you hold up to my expectations. Because for some reason, this giant barrel is movable via broken fuse. Can I turn it up and stuff? Okay, where'd the fuse go? Okay, don't. I can't lose you because you're too much fun. None of these move, right? No. No, it's just you because you have physics based on you. So I can play with you. I I just I'm just gonna take a minute and I wanna see if I can make it stand up. Okay. I just realized there's a chair there. Yes, it took me that long. Okay, now, the chair has a nice little hook part to it. No, 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 no. Okay. Use the hooky part to lift it up. Lift it up. And I can't move this with my own body, right? Okay, so I need to make sure not to block that doorway because I think I'm probably going to have to go through there later on. Because the game is not going to account for someone rolling a barrel around with a chair and a broken fuse. They're not going to think of that. Garen frickin' T. Come on! Come on! Up you go. Yeah. That was extremely satisfying for absolutely no reason whatsoever. But I have. Someone's crying. Flick the lever. I'm getting good at using chairs. Oh, that just opened the other door, didn't it? Yeah. Who's out there? Who's playing with my barrel? Let me in. I want to play. Is this a move? No. Don't mess with that one. That, that is a permanent fixture. Okay. I fell. Yeah, there we go. I would have never guessed that the room was going to shake when I went through a door. It's like the place is waiting for me to progress before shaking. It's incredible how, much, how the timing is so perfect on that. But I better hurry. Because I want to feel shaky again. Oh, and my boys are in danger. That keeps freaking me out by running along in front of me. 
which makes tons of... Do, can I move this with this? Uh, well, is the shovel physics based or is it a permanent fixture too? It's decor. At least they got the metal part right. Crickety. There's my next door that I need a battery thing for. Okay. What do I gotta hit this time? I gotta go all the way the freak back for a fuse? You freaking jerks! So now what do I do? Do I bring the chair with me? Because if I bring the chair with me... Then I'm going to have... I might have to balance the fuse on the chair. Journal! My journal. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage, if somewhat repetitive. The stench in the barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not defining is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. Ah. Uh -huh. So do I look over here for a fuse? Let's look over there for a fuse. I bet you there's a fuse like right there. We're coming back that way anyway, so I'm just gonna go look down here. Dead rat, hello. Von Reichenbach writes of the Odic Force. Whilst that ignorant charlatan Blatzfried pontificated upon the soul. They are both cretins. To think one would strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard, without standing upon an architecture of bones. Could you be more like dark and dismal and freaky? We, you didn't mention you didn't mention like defecation and crap like that. You you just mentioned like everything else. I mean, you mentioned puke and innards. So next thing you're gonna mention is like um how much you crapped all over him or something. Okay, whatever. Montezuma was the wiser, but here in our temples of steel, we have witnessed the severed head of a man recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the. Brennenberg compound open his, compound open his eyes and cry immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound open his eyes and cry where are my legs sir where is my body so the head talks and is okay we are breaking through the barriers of death itself oh my dead darling Lily it, it is too late for you but I promise you this I will save our children from death and, if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. You're a creepy guy. Got it! And hello! Wait! New th <laughs> I don't think they did much of the physics of this thing. Oh, this thing's gonna be fun. Alright. Let's go see what we can do with this. <laughs> 
Oh, I can barely move. <laughs>